Last we left our heroes, we were talking about time handles and brush tools. Kind of sounds like a sci-fi movie, but it's not. So let's open up the piano roll. I'm going to double click on this MIDI region, which will automatically give me a piano roll because that's how I have it configured. I'll bring this up a little bit so we can really see what's happening. And just for fun, I will get a brush tool. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna confine the brush tool to a scale. So I'm gonna choose a Lydian scale. Uh, do C Lydian. And what's going to happen is when I brush these notes in, they're gonna automatically be scale quantized to C Lydian, which is pretty cool. And I'm just gonna brush a shape in here. So let's see. All right, so there's my shape. Now I can, of course, get rid of a note with the brush tool just by clicking on it. And I also see that, yeah, I didn't quite get to the beginning of my region. So I'm gonna do a select all and then simply hit semicolon. And that takes all of your events and snaps them to wherever your playhead is. Now that's not new, it's just something I really like to do. So let's have a listen. All right, that's all good. Now, I'm going to enable time handles and I'm going to select this area. Now to select the area, I probably want to switch back to my pointer tool. And let's see. Now you notice how it played all those notes back. One of these things, you should know this by now if you've been using Logic for a while, but if you haven't, you're really gonna enjoy this. Turn this off, because when you turn that off, it disables MIDI out, which is nice, because uh, then you don't have to listen to all the notes when you get them selected. But that's not really why we're here. So I'm going to get my brush tool, and I'm going to control click, and define my brush pattern. And so now we have our brush pattern saved to the brush. And if I start painting with this tool again, check it out. It's actually painting the same pattern on top, which is pretty cool. So now they should play in an octave. That's pretty rad. Now to get rid of the brush pattern, all you have to do is control click while you're in the tool and reset your brush pattern and the brush tool will start to behave as it has normally in the past. You can now brush your notes again and do all that sort of junk. If you want to, so let's say I'm going to get that brush pattern back. So go back to my pointer tool, select some notes. Now check it out, I could select just these notes and I'll get my brush tool, control click, define brush pattern. And now when I brush, it only gets the notes that I had selected, which is pretty nice. That's one thing also about time handles, it's pretty neat. If you get a pointer tool and say, I only want these notes to be affected by time handles, that can be kind of handy. I did not mean that pun, but there it is. So now I can just play around with these notes. You know, I can do stuff like, I'll select these notes, but I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna select those notes, then I'm going to take a little stem here. Let's see, there we go. So you can adjust these stems like so. Now, note that they're still selected, so I can do cool stuff like that, right? Oh, and also, if you have that um, brush tool and you brush left, so you can brush left or right. Now, the pattern is going to remain the same in its linearity. It's not going to mirror the pattern or anything, but still pretty neat. So there you go, time handles and the brush tool. Now, let's talk a little bit more about some of the other uh, details that have been changed in the piano roll. 